praise him. For we know he is worthy. Father, bless your people on today with this message that we pray will shed light on every situation in their hearts and minds. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. One Sabbath day, Jesus was teaching in the synagogue. And the Bible says a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. Luke 13, 10 to 13. Can you imagine how hopeless this woman must have felt? Have you ever felt hopeless? For 18 young, long years, she had endured this deliberating condition. Perhaps you are struggling with some issues in your own life today that has persisted for a long time. You feel as though you've tried everything, but to no avail. Like the woman in this story, you still find yourself crippled by something out of your control. I know I feel that way with this breathing condition that I have. It's no fun being stuck, but it's something we've all experienced. Sometimes it's a medical condition the doctors can't remedy. At other times, the bills are coming in faster than the income. And many of us have found ourselves stuck in an unhealthy relationship we seem powerless to change. Thankfully, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 19, 26. When you're unable to help yourself and no human has a solution to your problem, God can break through your troubling circumstances and set you free. The story from Luke goes on to say that this woman was bent over and could not straighten up at all. This is such an apt picture of what it's like to be burdened down with sin, sicknesses, or other situations that seem overwhelming. Sometimes the care of life are simply too much for us to handle, and all we can do is cast our burden on the Lord. Psalms 55:22. Notice that the woman was unable to straighten up at all. Sometimes we still have hope that we can straighten things out by our own strength and ingenuity. But this woman had come to the end of her own devices. She needed a miracle, something only God could do. And here at Moments of Miracles, we understand only God can perform a miracle in your life. Amen. Yet, despite her years of suffering, everything was about to change for her in mere moments. In verse 12 says, Jesus saw her and called her forward. Friend, I don't know what you are going through today, but I do know this. Jesus sees what you are going through. He cares about you and he is calling you forward to draw near to him and receive his healing touch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise him. Praise him, saints. Hallelujah. For he is worthy of shit. I'm this. Glory. After 18 years of suffering, this distressed woman heard Jesus tell her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. In verse 12 from the NIV. Bible. The Greek word for infirmity is athenia, which means to be feeble or have a lack of strength. Perhaps you can relate. Actually, the Bible teaches that we all were without strength when we were living in sin. However, when we were powerless to save ourselves, Jesus demonstrated his love and rescued us. Romans 5, 6 through 10. And this is what many people learn in the rooms of Anonymous. And just as he forgave us and rescued us from sin at our conversion, he 
ready to deliver you today from whatever situation is still hindering you from fulfilling your destiny. Whether it's drugs, cigarettes, alcohol, beer, gambling, sexual addiction, Jesus is ready to deliver you. But are you ready to be delivered? Amen. How long does a miracle take? It doesn't have to take a long time to be set free. In this story, in Luke 13, Jesus put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God in verse 13. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine the joy and amazement she felt after being bound for 18 years? Some of you have been bound for 45, for 50. Jesus is the answer. Hallelujah. This woman received an in instantaneous deliverance when Jesus touched her. Hallelujah. He straightened up her life in a mere moment, just as he can do for you and me when we come to him in faith. Friends, you may have endured some illness, addiction, financial lack, or other problems for a long time. But remember, Jesus specialized in miraculous turnarounds. He is speaking his word to you and reaching out his hand to give you the breakthrough you need. This may be your moment to rise up and praise God for loosening you from some infirmity. And when we say loosening you from some infirmity, it is not for you to be loose and become a Jezebel shaking your good thing up and down the road. Jesus is loosening you so that you can come and be drawn to him and read the scriptures so that you can keep those demons out of your life. No more infirmities. We won't have to worry about the enemy coming into a swept house all garnished and bringing extra demons with him to overthrow you. Amen. But one final note is very important here. Jesus didn't attribute this woman's crippled condition to natural causes. He said, this dear woman has been held in bondage by Satan for 18 years. Isn't it right that she be released? Verse 16 of the NLT. You see, much of the distress we experience in this life is the result of spiritual warfare and attacks from the enemy. In order to be set free in such cases, we must address the root cause, confront the enemy, and use the weapons of spiritual warfare God has given us to overcome the devil, which is the word of God. The good news is that you can be assured of victory when you follow God's simple instructions. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4 and 7. One more time. Submit to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Amen. The mighty one living in you is far greater than than any attack against you. First John 4 and 4. I tell you, brothers and sisters, I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for the word of God, if it wasn't for God covering me and holding me up. I would have given up a long time ago because I am weak, but he is strong and has made me strong by living in me. Amen. I encourage you to pause and insert your own name in this powerful statement Jesus made to the crippled woman. Fill in this blank that I'm putting right here. I'm going to use my own name. Catherine, you are set free from the infirmity. As you allow those words to sink deeply in your heart, faith will rise. Troubles that have persisted for years will melt away quicker than you can imagine. 
So, brothers and sisters, once again I say, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Father, we thank you for your word, and we love you. Thank you for blessing your people with this message. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen.